America is full of odd roadside tourist attractions. From the world's largest collection of the world's smallest versions of the world's largest things in Kansas to the thing in Arizona, which is honestly something I am scared to learn more about. If you're traveling through West Tennessee, consider stopping at what feels like the inner sanctum of a religious cult that vanished after opening the Ark of the Covenant, when in reality, it's the legacy of a mysterious yet unsung Mexican artist whose work is displayed across the United States. So tell me, what you know about the Crystal Shrine Grotto? In East Memphis at the Memorial Park Cemetery lies a strange rock formation that kind of looks like a larger version of one of those termite mounds that giant anteaters slurp up, which is smart, because termites are one of the most protein-rich foods by weight on the planet. So if you're watching your macros, eat like an anteater, and get swole! <sighs> anyway, Memorial Park Cemetery was founded by E. Clovis Hines, a man who came up with the idea to build a lavish cemetery in Memphis after a visit to Forest Lawn in Glendale. To do that, he hired the artist Dionisio Rodriguez. He first commissioned Rodriguez to build a structure called Annie Laurie's Wishing Chair, a piece which, and this is true, is inspired by a Scottish woman who had a chair built in her namesake from the altar she used to pray at that granted any wish as it was supposedly blessed by fairies. Whoa, that's heavy. Hines was so impressed by Dionisio's work that he would commission him to beautify the entire park with similar works, and eventually, the Crystal Shrine. A little bit about the artist himself. Dionisio Rodriguez was born in Toluca, Mexico. Not too much is known about his past outside of his humble beginnings helping his father as a bricklayer that eventually led to him becoming a master craftsman when it came to fashioning concrete to look like realistic wooden sculptures. The remarkable pieces he crafted for the cemetery reportedly confused many patrons thinking they were made of petrified wood and angered one beaver that pressed charges after he shattered his teeth. Trust me, you do not want any part of an angry beaver. They settled out of court. But seriously, how he did it exactly is still unknown as the rumor is Rodriguez would disguise his sculptures as he worked and hide things when onlookers passed by. How much of this is true and what's hyperbole is difficult to say, but there's no doubt that Rodriguez knew the value of his work. It also wasn't the most accommodating environment for Dionisio, to say the least. He didn't speak much English, he was described by local newspapers at the time as the stumpy little brown man, and according to a Memorial Park tour guide, Hines put him up in a cheap motel in a quote, not so great part of town. Already known as a reclusive artist, he became even more reclusive, and after six years of work, he emerged with what would be his magnum opus. Not bad for a guy only paid $75 a week. The shrine features several sections depicting Christ's journey on Earth from birth to resurrection, consisting of nearly five tons of quartz that he and his assistant installed. Then, to complete the ambiance of the scene, they added hue lights and a harp, which is like a less scary version of Disney's It's a Small World ride. Today, the Crystal Shrine Grotto is visited by an estimated 100,000 people a year. And despite being located in a cemetery where, you know, they put dead people in the ground, they also host weddings and even quinceañeras. Convirtiéndote de niña a mujer. Many of Rodriguez's works can be found in the National Register of Historic Places seen from Washington, D.C. to New Mexico. So, if you're looking for a wild time in Memphis, Tennessee, I'd recommend a southern cocktail consisting of the hottest chicken at Hattie B's and some genuine moonshine for a trip that's the best thing you'll find outside the Amazon. Plus, you can see other stuff. I don't know, what else do they have in Tennessee? Graceland, Dolly Parton? Maybe consult your local travel agent. I'm Bruno, and I'm a statue. <laughs>